Let's get ready to rumble, sports fans. You're listening to the number one MMA podcast hosted by comedians that only do bicep curls. Uh, I've taken one adult karate class, and now I've convinced myself that I am a mixed martial artist expert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the source for UFC news is my comedy podcast where I occasionally say the (laughs) N-word. Problem? (laughs) Yeah, well, if you got a problem, take it up with the logo of the show, which is like, is Calvin pissing on himself? (laughs) It's his Calvin pissing on his he's, own career. He's pissing up in the air, and then it's coming back down into his own mouth. Yeah, and it's wh- like a Joe Rogan, like blow your mind. Meme. Yeah, like, it's, think about it, it. my badass, edgy New York comedian podcast where the logo is Calvin pissing gasoline onto a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, expand your mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what age is it where you become a UFC expert? Uh, I believe it's when you turn 30, exactly. Is that, is that like a NW5 male pattern baldness hair pattern? You have to be at that level? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, well, my testosterone's peaking because my fucking leptin sensitivity is all fucked up and I mean, my body kind of, shit because like it's I'm, a, not a, I'm a fighter now i could have been i didn't do i didn't do any of the karate when right. i was younger because with like, so now i'm an older guy I imagine myself as like a sort of a trainer type to these young men who want nothing to do with me with with like basketball and shit it's like people that used to play the actual sport but right. with like ufc has been around for like 10 years or some shit right so it's just joe rogan yeah for no reason well like, joe rogan did karate yeah yeah Karate's bullshit. Is right? it? Yeah. Right? Karate karate's just a general term for fighting. Is it is that is it's that so? Nick's general term it's for my fighting. General term for fighting. <laughs> so any you get, fight is you karate. You get to fight with somebody at a bar, you're like, hey man, let's not you don't want me to do karate at you right mm-hmm. now. That's how you Yeah, you kind of. Now. Here's here's a good one to stump pretty much any any uh mixed mar- martial artist in. <laughs> Ask him. Karate, is that Chinese or Japanese? And they can't tell you. <laughs> well, it's all racist white guys. Yeah, they don't know. No one knows what karate it's is. It's all white guys wearing white geese mm-hmm. and shit and yeah. standing like very like centered and shit. Actually, Kung Fu, now that's Chinese. Yeah. Kung Fu is Chinese. Karate actually was Italian. It came over with Marco Polo. They gave him spaghetti and he gave them karate. Karate. Mm-hmm. Karate. Yeah. 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 I, I thought I'd buy it. So where did that game Marco Polo? Who came up with that? Uh, the guy Marco Polo. He was a. Uh, he, That's how he's, you're gonna have to do better than that for that bit, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to come up with a better, funnier answer than Marco Polo is. Who came up with Marco Polo? It's not funny. It's just the facts, ma'am. And that's what this show is all about today. I was about to jump on that bit, and it's going nowhere. <laughs> Go ahead, jump on him. We got time to kill, brother. We I don't know something about how he was kill. like he was going into the sea, playing Marco Polo, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you see where I'm going here. It's not good. The mm-hmm. bit itself is it's, it is like Marco Polo if you think about it. Joe Man. Rogan mind explosion. I hope this thing doesn't run out of fucking batteries while we're doing this. <laughs> Yeah. I, ran, I I don't know. I misplaced. I use here's this. I don't want to go too far because we we got the tech stuff coming up later. But <laughs> the tech, tech, tech review, review corner. <laughs> I I use Panasonic Eneloop Pro rechargeable batteries, and I misplaced the batteries. Mm. So I'm down to one set. I don't know what happened to all my batteries. You think I took them or something? I mean, why'd you look I, at me that why'd way? Why'd you look at Adam like that? Because I. I mean, if we're, if if someone is sticky fingers, we got somebody sneaky. that's that likes taking things that don't belong to him. I like to, like what? Uh, what have like I ever the taken? West Bank, for example? <laughs> I didn't take that, that culturally. Was... That's your your people's fault. Uh, but yeah, so we're down to one bar in the battery. If the battery dies, you know, we'll do the rest of the show whenever I can go pick up more batteries. Has a b- one bar ever lasted us an hour? Uh, sometimes. I mean, the, the fucking, it's not very accurate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. Uh, what we forget, we neglected to speak about on the last one, Rich Piana. Rest in peace. Dead at the, at the natural death age of 46 years old. (laughs) When most people die, cause of death, haircut, getting his haircut by his girlfriend. You always want to go to a salon. Mm-hmm. You know, if you let some dumb bitch cut your hair wrong, boom, your brain explodes from a 
uh, an opioid and and steroid cocktail. Uh huh. Um, Jake, do you know who Rich Piano is? No, I thought his name was Piano when I read the the thing. He's a he's a weightlifter, right? Uh, yeah, he's a bodybuilder. I don't know anything other than I googled him when I when I looked at the um the show map we're using. Uh, yeah, he's like a big swole weird tattoo oh guy. you didn't even know about that until i handed you this piece of paper no nah, but i i, I put it together because I, I i heard somebody talk about him a couple days ago mm-hmm. so i kind of got a vague cursory understanding he's like an internet moron yeah you could call him that okay i guess uh is he cool do we like him i can't tell an italian jet no he's funny to laugh at okay that's what i thought and then now people are trying to be like come on he's dead (laughs) 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 it just makes it funny (laughs) this is a guy you've been saying for years is like this guy's gonna die (laughs) yeah right like why (laughs) (laughs) why is it when like sonic you dies we're like for real though he did some good things yeah right you know like when blake midget (laughs) dies i'm not gonna be like Oh, what a tragedy. <laughs> it's going to be like, yeah, Blake did it, guys. Blake did the thing he was desperately trying to do for years. He died in a in a, in a sleeve-cutting-off uh, accident. <laughs> he, cut the, he tried to cut his sleeves too Slices his aorta. Yeah, sliced yeah. into his own heart. Damn. Ah, oh, shit. Can somebody drive me to the hospital? <laughs> I cut my. I've tried. I, cut, I tried to cut my sleeves off. Uh, I was bartending, and I cut off my fucking arm. <laughs> yeah. I was using a broken. I smashed a beer bottle over my head, and I was using a broken glass to cut my own arms off. <laughs> and then I, I got to get back in shape. <laughs> you, you told me one time the way to do a, a Blake Midget impression is just gay Duke Nukem. Yeah, and I think yeah. about it all the time. Right. <laughs> so it's just a octave higher. I'm gonna rip off your balls and suck off your dick. <laughs> oh man, I'll be. I'm here to suck Blake dick guys. and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> yeah. So what's up with this rich piano? So yeah, he died uh, while he was getting a haircut from his girlfriend, as Nick just said. <laughs> How did he really die? Um, from from like years of doing. He's been doing steroids since he was 16. So yeah. 30 years of steroid use. His mom was a bodybuilder. <laughs> So he's like some, you know, I guess Italian kid that just is in love with his mom, wants sure. to have sex with his mom, <laughs> <laughs> typical Italian tradition, uh-huh. and then became a bodybuilder uh, immediately. I guess age eight is when he got started. And then I don't, the thing I don't understand is about using steroids when you're 16 is like, are you already like, I just remember being 16 and all I could do was jack off. <laughs> you have true. so many hormones in you. You have to come them onto your mom's carpet in her apartment <laughs> immediately all the time, every day after school. Yeah. You can't help but get rid of all the extra testosterone. Why are you doing steroids? Just eat your own cum. <laughs> <laughs> just to have your cum fill the syringe with it and inject your own cum into your muscles. Yeah. You know who eats their own cum? Who? Chris Jan. Who? Sonichu. Oh. You you referenced him earlier. I don't know his real name. Oh, okay. You're just trying to be cool. I, why would I know his real name? Like, I mean, come on. I mean, if his you know... His name is Sonichu. No, his name is Chris Jan. <laughs> Sonichu is the thing he created, quote unquote created. It's weirder, though, to be like, my friend Chris. You might know him as Sonichu, but we're, you know, in real life, we're pals. No, if I you hang said out Chris, with him. If we you eat said our cum Christian, together. Chris, we both like eating cum. Yeah. I'm Nick Mullen. I like eating cum. That's not what I said. That's what exactly. I, mm-hmm. why, you, if I said recorded. Christian Weston Chandler, it wouldn't be weird to mention. You should know that before you know Sonichu. Sonichu is the thing that he did. <laughs> okay. You know? So he eats his own cum? It'd be like if you called Walt Disney Mickey Mouse. <laughs> well, maybe I do. Yeah. How about that, huh? You know, Mickey Mouse really hated the Jews. He wrote all these <laughs> articles true. about how much he hated the Jews. Blood and soil. It's like, no, you mean Walt Disney. And you're like, who's Walt Disney? <laughs> He's like, Walt Disney is the man that drew Mickey Mouse. And you're like, no, that, I'm pretty sure it was Mickey Mouse. No, it was Mickey Mouse, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, you're wrong. I'm right. Yeah. Suck my dick. I do like that Mickey. All cum. those all those like cartoon characters just started off as like, yeah, it's blackface for children. <laughs> yeah. No, for real. That's why Mickey Mouse has those big gloves. Oh, of course. It's like straight up just black. Yeah. If you go shit. look at any old cartoon, it's like, is that it's a, a bear? <laughs> it's, that, it's like a monkey bear that's working in a field and crying. Yeah. You're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I know what that is. Like those old like black and white cartoons of the cows that just dance all robotically and shit. Yeah. Right. Just making fun of black people like right. sharecroppers uh, and shit. Cow skeleton. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, so Rich Piana died. Mickey That's Mouse in the died. news. Another thing, Amazon lowering Whole Foods prices. What's the play here? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, business. We talked about this last time. What's the play? <laughs> what are they thinking? What's, where's smart money moving on this? I'm, I'm Cosmo Kramer, and this is Money Madness. <laughs> You're watching Money House on CNN They're with, trying to with John Kramer, with Kramer versus Kramer, <laughs> where I make one bet, and then a clone of myself makes another. Kramer versus Kramer is just like two guys yelling the N-word at each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kramer versus, you know. That would be the funnier. <laughs> That'd be the way to title that video. Amazon is just trying to corner the market on like selling food, right? Yeah, isn't that what's going on? Like, you yeah, lower prices so that everyone continues to shop at you. That way, mm-hmm. you can you can fucking. But what's the play? <laughs> what's the play? <laughs> the play. <laughs> okay. What's smart money doing on this play? Are they gonna? Are you think other tech? Like, do you think Uber is gonna buy like? C Town. I think I think what Uber you should think, do uh, Uber should raise Lyft's prices to make themselves look better. <laughs> that's a good that's a smart play. I, yeah, why hasn't anyone ever done that? I think that's I, the play. That's the play in, in that situation. But what's the play with Amazon? What's the know? play? Uh local news story, we got a dog that bought a cheeseburger for its own. <laughs> that's adorable, isn't it? An eighty year old woman, she's got a dog Bobo. It went down, folks. She was hungry. It went down to the local Popeyes, bought her a cheeseburger. <laughs> they sold it. Heartwarming, sure. Uh, another story: We got a third grader who's opening up a different kind of lemonade stand. <laughs> his secret? It's his own piss. Did you just He's, make up the news for this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they could be real. Who knows? Rich Piana's is real. The Rich Piana's is real. Yeah, I'm just trying to do as close of an approximation to local news as I can. Sure. So the mm-hmm. child is selling piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a grandma. That, she's making. She's knitting lunch boxes for homeless people. Isn't that sweet? Coming up at 11, a local toddler is missing, presumed raped and murdered. <laughs> You're watching W9USA Cleveland. That's the annual hot air balloon festival. We've got an eclectic bunch down here. Meet the third grade teacher that's uh, created her own hot air balloon with her class. And then after that, a local mother was dragged behind an Arby's and fucked to death <laughs> by a gang of... Of racist Puerto Ricans. <laughs> and this is the local news. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then coming up later, are solo cups killing your entire family? <laughs> Have you touched a solo cup in the last six months? Well, get ready for dick cancer because it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. I don't know if there's other news going on. I guess North Korea fired another missile. Yeah. Oh, man. What's wrong with yeah. those folks up there in North Korea? We they just threw, got it. J straight over Japan. Japan, yeah. Yeah. And they were getting their uh, Gundams Here's ready. Here's my hot take. <laughs> why, do we, why is that our problem? Why do we have to deal with that? That seems like balls in Japan's court on this one. Because we, now, I know oh, we yeah. took away their military, but... <laughs> They are pretty good at uh, uh, sexually assaulting people. They can fight, and they have a history of doing that in Korea. So why don't the Japanese go over there and turn them all into sex slaves again, like they did in the olden days? Yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure, man. I agree. They uh, they can go over there and attack them with anime and used panties and shit. You know, throw all their Japanese shit at them. Yeah. My favorite is that Japanese anti-rape device that's just, it turns you into a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're, a man's chasing you around the streets, you can go around the corner and just you like deploy a vending machine <laughs> disguise over your body. He's like, wow, where's that girl I was going to rape? Yeah, but then he uses the Right, he's machine. like, yeah, wow, I'm thirsty from trying to chase that girl to rape her. <laughs> Time for an ice-cold Sprite to quench my thirst. Just like Kobe Bryant... Another fel- fellow rapist would drink. Alleged. Uh, well, <laughs> alleged, alleged. Alleged. Right. Yeah, I said, what's alleged. the story? I you said with that? a legend. A legendary. I like that rapist. better. A legend rapist. A le- yeah, a legendary. But like the journalist, it just doesn't know words. Yeah. Legendary rapist. <laughs> a- allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is <clears throat> Johnny Local, and I'm the local news journalist that doesn't know how to read, and I say things wrong. Uh, yeah, and then they go to use the vending machine, and, uh, you know, 
Yeah. Oh, oh, these buttons don't work. Oh, the girl's in here. Yeah. What a, what a funny ending to that and story. The crazy. Ja- and then the sexual assault Rape happens. the vending machine itself because they're fetishes. Is there a higher... The vending machines? Is that statistically accurate? There's a higher degree of rape in Japan? Uh, no, Sweden. And the only reason Sweden for that, has the highest. Dig- Sweden has this thing where, like, their definition of rape is like looking at a woman. Right. So, exactly. Like, at, if you don't hold the a door for a woman, it's rape. And then if you hold the door too long, oh, you rape. better believe that's rape. <laughs> yeah. That's rape. That's that's a raven. Yeah. That's a paddling. You cut. You better believe you cut. Jasper, classic Simpsons. <laughs> God damn! What a great show. Hey, you know, I mean, if you, I, I listen to this fucking podcast. I don't subscribe, but I listen to this. I listen to you tell my stories. All no, the hold on. on what do you mean you, you listen you to it, but don't you don't subscribe? subscribe. I don't. Which pay means, for... which means, you do more work. <laughs> you manually go and download the no, episode every week. I listen to the free feed. I don't listen to the. Oh, pay so you feed. subscribe on iTunes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, oh, I don't well, every thank week. You, I, what is Nick doing? But I've heard you tell my own fucking stories on this. So then that means I should be able to steal from the Simpsons. What stories of yours have I told? The meat truck story. Yeah, but I preface that as. Like yeah, this thing happened with Jake one time. It's yeah. not like I said. You preface it with "I am stealing a story from Jake right now." I think that counts as stealing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, at least does. I, at least I give credit, Adam. It's all right. What do you mean? Instead of I... Adam pretending like he doesn't remember where he heard things, you remember a tidbit about every town so you can fuck Chinese girls. Mm. Oh, you're from Jiangsu Province, isn't that where they make <laughs> the batteries in the Samsung Galaxy? <laughs> oh, how do you know that? You're so small, thank you. And then Adam's like, you know, you know what I was thinking about? There's seven dirty words you can't say on television. This is an original Adam Friedland bit. I don't know if I've heard oh, it. Oh, man. Dude, I fucking I remember, remember like bit. a few years ago when like shitty dudes all loved Louis C.K. Yeah. I would just hear like... I would just... Shitty dudes. Oh, if that's... There's one thing we can't stand on this podcast. <laughs> it's garbage, dudes. Man. No, I mean like... It's piss baby, no, I, garbage I fire, you, literal garbage human dudes. scum You know dudes. damn well I don't mean that shit. Shit, I'm not like a fucking Hey dudes Listen up Dudes <laughs> like, Can we talk about dudes for a second Dude bros <laughs> Morbidly obese woman here <laughs> Dawn Beth Shannon Custard here you know. with, 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 <laughs> I love that, that, that bar we do that shows that they have those rules posted in the bathroom. In the bathroom, yeah. In no. the bathroom, is it's no racism, no transphobia. No homophobia. No homophobia. I love that transphobia got bumped up to number two. Well, yeah. after racism. Well, it's because of the yeah. Also, are those the rules for the bar or for the bathroom? <laughs> just, the bathroom. just the bathroom. <laughs> no racism. In the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if that's just how I have to shit? I just need to say the n word to get it all. And out. then the last rule that's is fiber for me is racism. <laughs> the last rule is no bullshit. Yeah, that's and absolutely no bullshit. Following a list of a bunch of things I consider to be complete bullshit. <laughs> yeah. What is? How do you even go do transphobia in a bar? Well, the bartender is trans at that bar. So what does that mean? Not tipping the bartender? Or yeah, just calling her sir or something? Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Excuse me, <laughs> the man who is bartending? <laughs> yeah. Sir. Pardon me, gentlemen. <clears throat> Can I have a bloody Mario? It's because you're a man. That's funny. It's a man's name. Be a bloody Marty. (laughs) Hey, fella. Hey, pal. I remember when it used to be they only let men bartend. Just some (laughs) old old guy that hates women and doesn't realize that's a a trans person. Yeah, that'd be a fun guy to be in real life. Yeah, that would be a blast. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just listen to Sinatra. Be mean to trans women <laughs> yeah, while trying to fuck. Them. I mean, you got to think. Of, there's got to be old people that just have no idea what trans people are. <laughs> it just doesn't like can't comprehend that uh, a person would change gender. Yeah. They'd be like, "What's wrong with that dame? Why is she six foot five? <laughs> yeah, and also they're they're, like, they're making them tall now. <laughs> right, Maybe Adam's it's my osteoporosis. Apple. I'm Four seven. I don't know. <laughs> hey, suck my dick. Your dicks. You know, like they're also try like, attracted to them, kind of, but they don't understand. It. That's a real. I mean, that's real. There's old fucking morons like that. Yeah, old people are dumb as fuck, man. Yeah, they are. Sounds a little ageist to me. <laughs> yeah, I think they're wise. Yeah. Excuse me, you're being ageist. That's the dumbest. No thing. ageism in my bathroom. I have a they sign didn't say no that. ageism in the bathroom. You're allowed to be ageist. Yeah, 
at that bar. <laughs> what is the goal of Pardon anti-ageism? Me, um, what, to, to what? Like to, to pretend like time doesn't exist? I think that it's like because people get fired from their jobs for being too old or something. Yeah, they should. I agree. They've had the job for a long time. They've had plenty of opportunity to save money. It's the end of your life. It's going to suck anyways. You're going to fucking get cancer and all your friends are going to die. Like, you don't need to be pretending to smile at people at Walmart. Hire someone that needs the job. Yeah, I agree. Like a yeah. baby. Like a baby. Babies need work. Yeah. <laughs> we should hide. We should replace all of uh, the Amazon drones with infants. Yeah. You know, that way you don't have to fuck those drones anymore. <laughs> you finally get what you want. Yeah. Prime now, Amazon Premi now. <laughs> Amazon. Let me premium. get a Premi delivered, ship shape, tip yeah. top, mm -hmm. directly to my apartment. It just right. it crawls to your door with a box full of shit on its back. Okay, tech review corner. <laughs> Moving on to our corner, tech segment. Corner, corner. We're done with the news. Yeah, we're done with the news. Okay. Put in a 15-minute timer. Plus, you're not really contributing anything. You're just I have... I've been listening. Yeah, I've been... Yeah, you've been listening. Good job listening on the podcast. I've been trying to contribute. You fucking getting asshole. getting cut off. Uh, you're not getting cut off. You're not saying anything. Okay, I'll try it some more and Maybe get cut off. Maybe you should put a fucking show map together. I think it's a good show map. I thought that that was a really nice story about the dog buying a cheeseburger for the old lady. I thought that was great. I'm really glad you brought that to the table. <laughs> it's good. I didn't want to interrupt it because it was warming my heart so much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Apple Watch, folks. Let's talk about it. Two, week, uh, two weeks now with the Apple Watch. Let me tell you, folks, I'm fatter than I've ever been in my entire life. Hell yeah. And the Apple Watch is letting me know. It reminds me every day that I don't <laughs> walk and stand enough. You just look at it and it just says you're fat. Uh, basically, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's like a cool feature if, you know, you want to change something in your life. It makes your emoji fatter. I already go to the gym. It doesn't need to tell me that I need to stand up more. Is it really? Like, How does yeah. it know you're standing up? That's that's some impressive technology. I don't know. Right it like measures your heart rate against. You know, it's funny when I do cocaine. It's like <laughs> congratulations, you've reached your exercise goal for the, for the week. <laughs> wow, you've done all the exercise somehow in a 15 minute period. <laughs> yeah. Your heart rate is 140 beats per minute. <laughs> that's you must awesome. you must be doing a, a triathlon <laughs> right now. <laughs> Starts playing techno yeah. and shit. Are you eating fucking Cheerios while swimming 10 miles? <laughs> yeah, you better believe that's what I'm doing. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, what I want is a brain monitor, mm -hmm. you know, instead of a heart rate monitor, some some Apple product I can just fucking jam into my skull. And, and yeah. just tell when you're being racist. And when and I'm shit. being smart, when yeah. I'm thinking smart things. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. They should have a sex app where, like... You put the Apple Watch on your dick like a cock ring, and then it's like, you are... Uh, limp. Or Actually, you, just, you know what would be you cool? Put it on, leave it on your wrist, and it tells you if you're fucking good or not. Yeah, uh, that would be cool. But w what would be nice is like a, a an Apple cock ring that you put on, and then women have to wear an Apple like pussy insert. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then the instead Apple of crotch. instead of Tinder, what? What happens if your dick moves on the train, you know, and some woman's there and her pussy gets wet on the pussy insert made by Apple, mm -hmm. then it'll use this Bluetooth to communicate between the two. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like, hey, you, maybe you and this person should see if you have any movies you like in common yep. or whatever. That's the next step. Or just step. have sex with them on the train. Yeah, right there and, and then. You go up to them like, hey, I don't mean to bother you, but are you wearing an Apple pussy insert? <laughs> because my Apple cock ring just detected that my dick moved in your direction. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a police officer. Oh, okay. Well, I no, this is that's not my fault. Apple makes this stuff, so yeah. you can't. Oh, I'm going to jail. All right. Can I keep my Apple cock ring on inside the jail? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that's why we need jails made by Apple. 
Imagine that. The Apple Jail. That would be very minimalist. It'd be yeah. nice. It would be pretty cool. Yeah, you know? yeah. It would, everything it has, would they be would have white. a sensor yeah. inside your ass that tells when you're getting <laughs> right. <raped. laughs> and then you get a notification on your wrist that says, congratulations, you've hit your exercise goal for this week. <laughs> your heart rate is 140 beats per minute. And then the brain inserts like, what is happening to our memory? Why is everything just being erased right now? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. We're going to have to send a bug report to the <laughs> warden. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was good. This is Siri, the Apple warden. Lights out. It's bedtime. <laughs> yeah, um, we should give our jails to Apple. That, I think we should give most of our government institutions to Apple. That would be pretty cool. Apple school. Apple uh, hey, bus. App, Apple a day keeps the doc, the teacher away. Right? That's what I hear. <laughs> no, <laughs> no teachers, only apples. Yeah. As they say, eat an apple every day. You don't have to be yep. in school. Yep. You keep the teacher away. You keep the doctor away. No more doctors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, they do that shit, though. They buy, like, you ever see those charities that are like, we're getting iPads for kids that live in the ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> Just fucking make them a bigger school and hire more teachers. They don't need fucking... The solution isn't being able to play Angry Birds or rob each other to sell those fucking iPads. Or to play loud music on the train. Yeah. That's right. why they're giving them the iPads. So they can do Showtime. So yeah. they can do Showtime, Showtime, start their breakdancing career. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about the other day? What if they did Showtime, Showtime on the subway? For those of you that don't live in New York, it's a like a subway dancing thing that happens here. What if they did it with uh, really hot chicks and they take their clothes off while they're doing it? Ho time. Ho time. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, do you know what I, I thought would be funny is like a murder ball version of Showtime where like, like wheelchair really, guys. really aggressive wheelchair guys that like come on the train and they're like, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. the music starts playing. They're like, what's up? This is murder Showtime. And then they just like get dumped out of the chair and then lie there motionless on the fucking ground of the train while the music plays and everyone just has to <laughs> pretend Step like over they, them. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, don't, he's having a thing. He's. Like when that fucking paraplegic guy tried to do mixed martial arts and then somebody <laughs> took the fight and they were like, you know, I mean, he's just like basically stamping out a pillowcase yeah. is what, <laughs> what the fucking guy was. Is A guy in a wheelchair tried to... A guy with no arms or legs. <laughs> That's quadriplegic. Quadra no arm allergic. <laughs> Quadra fucking ant, ant, quadrampy, quadrampity. How did he even like train for that? Quadrampity sounds like a Pokemon. He wrestles you yeah. with his neck. Yeah. 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 No, he's biting, I guess. <laughs> biting. He slowly eats you like a fucking snake. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just coils up. Yeah, yeah, right. Lays down next to you. <laughs> the fight you. ends, and there's like a Han Solo imprint of the other guy in his abdomen, and it's like, he did it. No one thought he could do it, but he did it. He slowly ate the other fighter. <laughs> An <Uninjured> jaw. <laughs> he absorbed the other fighter into his body, and that just goes to show you, if you think retarded people aren't capable of doing things <laughs> you're a fucking asshole this is ufc yeah well, that'd be cool if they ufc fought a retarded guy yeah that's got it's gonna happen yeah, well that right? would be the next big fight you know we had we did the the mayweather mcgregor fight in my <laughs> oh, apartment we already did well, fight a retarded guy which one i mean mayweather's retarded no, i'm just kidding yeah well he yeah. doesn't know how to read that's that's kind of retarded <laughs> yeah is that, is that real? He, he really can't read. read. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Hey, you've never heard it's... that promo video where he's trying to read for like the radio <laughs> interstitial? No. He's like, with iHeart Radio, the the award. <laughs> <laughs> he like could not. Yeah, he couldn't do it. It's so funny when yeah. people like can somehow make it all the way into adulthood without learning to read and just like try to just try to get through situations like. Assuming no one will notice, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to do a bit about that shit. Yeah, about those old radio PSAs for like the adult literacy centers, and it was always like, "My name's Karen. Uh, I'm a 37 year old secretary, and unfortunately, last year my boss found out that I didn't know how to read." <laughs> <laughs> how do you get that far? I don't understand. It's like, impressive. Those people are impressive. Yeah, their ability to pull the wool over society's eyes. Yeah. And become, uh, you know, 
pilots. And, no, I have an uncle that's. Yeah, I have it's an like uncle that's bad, a but deaf. The secret is you can't read. He's a deaf piano tuner, and he just was pretending like he wasn't deaf for like fifteen <laughs> years. <laughs> what? Yeah. So you'd like talk to him, and you'd say something to him, and he would just go like. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like he just, he just not listen to anything you say. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just worked. I was mean, it uh, Beethoven was deaf? Yeah, Beethoven. He used to always tell us that as kids. Oh, yeah, he had one of those ear horn things, that I, weird like cornucopia thing. Yeah, 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 ear, yeah. And then ask people to yell from into Wild it. Wild West. Yeah, yeah, that'd That's be a cool, cool movie. Wild Wild Brass. <laughs> Let's see him. Let's take a look at him. Let's see these crazy titties. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just as an aside, and Nick's, I'm, I know I'm ruining the flow of the show, but thank you everyone that came out last night to our live show. That was awesome. And everyone's, everyone's, they're getting better and better. And, uh, this is the important part. We're switching to bi monthly. So yeah. the first of our, it means we'll buy anything. <laughs> we'll buy anything. You know, Apple Watch. Let me purchase it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, first, what, I'm, what I, I'm what they call oh, bisexual. God, fuck which means I it. pay women for sex. <laughs> so our first. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was worth cutting me off. Anyway, our first uh, yeah. bi-monthly show is on yeah, September you know 11th. Ass. God damn it. September 11th, uh, the Ooh. anniversary. <laughs> yeah. The December, December 11th blowout sale. The We're crashing planes into buildings all day long. Yeah. The anniversary of the terrible attacks on the World Trade Center will be our first uh by, you know what, dude? I think nine eleven is good. I'm Antifa. They're terrorist attacks. I'm pro. I'm pro nine eleven Antifa. That's what Antifa is. Right? Antifa was pro nine eleven. Yeah, probably. they were actually part of it. The planes were wearing bandanas over their noses. Mm-hmm. And all you know what I think that. about is people that like sit around and they like dress up and they're proud to be Antifa. It's cosplay. Dude. It's yeah. the gay shit. There's yeah. a lot of hangers on that are lame as shit. It sucks because there's like a real thing at the center of it, but there's so many dudes that are Well, the just, real like, shit was like in Europe the where cool they're... costume, you know? The real shit was in Europe where there were actually Nazis beating the shit well, out of... In the yeah. whole... In the whole... In that whole world of like these alt-right guys fighting the Antifa guys, there's maybe three dudes that are actually not... Cowards. Okay, I'm gonna that are fighting each other. Yeah, there's the alt right has that one guy who's like jacked and just punches people in the face, mm -hmm. and then I'm sure there's a couple of Antifa people that actually like fighting, and then the rest of it is like cowardly people that want to beat like they're the people that fucking like are excited about the idea of a mosh pit yeah totally might, totally might be able to punch somebody in the face without getting punched back a shameless plug i'm gonna plug my podcast because i just did a podcast about the history of antifa i have a podcast called pod damn america if you're listening we do history about shit like that isn't that already a podcast yeah it is no pod is it is that it? sounds i think yeah, it's pod damn america is the name of uh john 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 love it yeah, yeah that's yeah. his podcast no, yeah it's john love pod save america no i don't know about why we i don't called know. Our Pod damn America. You it's should a, change it to maybe like WTF or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck you. I'll change it to Come Town, bitch. See, that's the thing. Try I didn't me, have dude. to worry about someone already having this as a name for their podcast. You know, I had to fucking like tell my boss at work, like, yeah, I got to get off to do Come Town. <laughs> like, everyone yeah. kept asking, like, well, what's the name of it? What are you doing? You know? Yeah, everyone was like, uh, that's such a stupid name. You could never market that show. And yeah. it's like, look whose name is. At the top of Times Square right now. <laughs> Come town. Right above yep. you know, the yeah. Toys R Us Ferris wheel. It's mm -hmm. on that ticker, like that fucking stock. Is that still there? there? How long ago did that town. disappear? Uh, Probably the 10 Toys years R ago. Us store? There was a Toys R Us with a Ferris wheel in it in Times Square. In Times Square? Square? I think. Yeah. I don't know. Years when, ago. They got rid of FAO Schwartz, F too? FAG. Where do you go? Yeah, that was a joke I said yeah, about you, did you that. actually. So. You said that I like to go to FAG Schwartz. I did. Yeah. That was a good joke. I, it didn't hurt my feelings at all. I thought it was pretty funny and worked with the show. And Okay. Uh, you want to go back to that Ferris wheel thing you were saying? Ferris wheel. Uh, the world's gayest roller coaster? Yes or no? <laughs> True. Yeah. Imagine, I, that's, I, that's my new character is the guy that's like, oh, you know, I don't really, I'm like, I like, I love roller coasters, but the scary ones, I can't really do so much. So it's like, the Ferris wheel, that's my favorite roller coaster. <laughs> I love I love just the big loop de loop Ferris wheel. That's yep. it's so scary to me, but I, I love it. I just love being scared. 
<laughs> yeah, it really is. I, just I love like... being scared on the teacups. <laughs> yeah, the, this is my favorite roller coasters. Ooh, the little caterpillar that looks like he's going to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> it was terrifying. A gay guy, so that, scary. A gay guy that said, <laughs> likes. The, <laughs> the baby roller coasters is, is a pretty good character for me. <laughs> That's yeah. a good new Ooh, character. I love, mm, you know what I love? The scary roller coasters. It's like, funny that there's like weak ones like that. Or where they eat. guess your weight and they used to. <laughs> That's <laughs> scary, yeah. When they guess your weight. Yeah. And you, it's scary when you shoot the, the water. The scary Ferris the wheel, the one from face. the movie Fear, where Mark Wahlberg sticks his fingers in your pussy. <laughs> That is the scariest one, yeah. Yeah. You ever um you ever heard of people like die? Cause they have like the the baby roller coasters and then like at some point in the nineties like they started just making like the most extreme yeah. you know shit of all time. Cedar it's like point not even Ohio. fun to ride. Dude, those shits are so fun to ride. The problem is that they're you as a kid you remember them and like you wait in line and you're terrified. So you have all this like adrenaline that mm-hmm. makes getting through the line go faster. Yeah. And then you ride it and you're so scared as you're like going up the hill. And then the the ride, you're like, oh, I hope this ends soon. Like I'm having like this huge adrenaline rush. And now as an adult with a cocaine problem <laughs> and a <laughs> muted ability to, uh, you know, I don't have any dopamine in my brain and I don't really have any kind of adrenal response anymore. Yeah. It's waiting for you two don't? hours in a in a fucking line. Yeah. And then, uh, oh yeah, no, I cut my fucking hands up all the time while working with like power and you don't tools. Feel anything? I don't. Feel, I mean, I feel, it hurts, but it's like I just. I mean, I like cut the top of my finger off yesterday or like last week and it's just like god damn it you know i don't have you don't, like any reaction so, you're so dead inside kind of you yeah i just don't feel i don't feel anything so the roller coasters they kind of suck they don't last as long i mean it is it is fun but it's like it's a 45 second ride and you just waited two hours in line you know even if you have the flash pass yeah that's what it's all know. about dude the flash pass also, How do you I get fucking it? hate you pay that. more money? I hate that superhero bullshit so goddamn much. <laughs> they it, just make a, a ruins, roller coaster and it's like, it's Batman, yeah. the roller coaster. Yeah, they, all of them are like Batman or Joker's Revenge or like, the Riddler's Penis. What you does know? that it's even like, I don't, I don't Just know. call it the roller coaster. I don't, want, I don't need all this theme bullshit. Yeah. You know, that pissed me off. There, I, I the Six Flags, Magic Mountain. I grew up in Houston, You're, and yeah. like the Astro World was the thing. They closed it down years ago, but like near the end of it, there was that like asshole world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Houston assholes, pretty good. <laughs> um, but there was like the, the one of the last yeah, sure roller coasters it's Texas they built. Pride is about <laughs> just working on the ranch, not needing any government or help from anybody else, and doing your cattle drives and exposing your asshole directly to the sun to <laughs> clean it out with that vitamin D and the beautiful rays of being. Pen- Penetrated by God's greatest beauty, the light in the sky. Yeah. There was a roller coaster that was just called SWAT, and it was literally just like a giant fly swatter. You just get in it, and then it was just like, just like <laughs> jerk you forward. It just hurt. And yeah. then people were like, wow, that was so scary, I guess. Yeah. It was just painful. Apparently, there was a place in New Jersey that got shut down because too many people were getting injured. There's a and- water park in New Jersey that, like, yeah, yeah. people just like break their legs and shit all the time. <laughs> there's like a, there's a, I forget what it's called, but there's like just a. like everything yeah. was covered in it's tetanus. In Jersey, it's the Jersey Six Flags. It's called Six Flags, a friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the rides break your legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's like a water slide that tries to do like a full like loop, you know, like but it's like it doesn't work at all. And like people just get to the top of it and just fall and shit. But like it's still open. Like no one's really, you know, sued it or shut it down. I, I love going to amusement parks. It's a shame. The summer ended kind of abruptly here. It's fall now. Yeah. Well, it's just cold right now. Yeah, today I'm coming waves. I, I would love to go I earlier to this go week. Was get really one nice. last Six Flags in before Man, the summer. Ends. I've done that shit in years. We should go. Yeah, I like water totally parks a lot. I like I like lazy rivers. I, I like I, pee. Yeah. The one thing that was nice about Peeing, going to Six Flags this year in it. Yeah. is I got there and I went on one of the baby roller coasters because it had a quick line. And you lost your wallet. Lost my wallet immediately. Yeah, it fell out of my pocket on the ride and yeah. just went off into the course. And so it was like. I had to stay there till the end of the day, yeah, so that they could walk the track and get my wallet back, and uh, and 
it like gave me an excuse to like stay like because you know otherwise it'd be like all right i've been here three hours i'm going you know i don't yeah. need to stay here the whole day stay there the whole day got a couple of rides in you did still not some even of the enough. big boys just one you have like the opportunity to go on one or two big roller coasters that day and it's like 50 bucks for admittance to entrance? get in yeah, yeah it's it's yeah it was about that it was probably like 80 a person 80 a person yeah i don't i didn't bring like a coke can or anything yeah you always got to get a coke can <laughs> yeah yeah, if you drink soda, you get in cheaper. <laughs> if you make the rides, have to work harder. You know, they need those fat people there to make the rides go faster. Yeah, That's probably it. The momentum. They get <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would any fat people care to volunteer to come to the front to make the ride work? Thank you. Yeah. I used to think that uh, VR technology would replace roller coasters because you just put on the... You put on the glasses and feel like you're on a roller coaster. That's because you're very retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll make, they'll make VR? Yeah, 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 makes you, like, yeah I just got the new PlayStation retarded Virtual person. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on and it makes you feel like you have Down syndrome. It's pretty crazy, dude. I strapped that shit in, shit myself immediately. <laughs> it's just, just something there just put, sticking the PlayStation controller in your mouth. You're like, is this Starburst? <laughs> I think I'm just eating nothing but candy it's right like now. Game shark. <laughs> Is that Norman used to have that joke about about the worst part about getting a blowjob from a retarded girl is all the candy in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man, Norm blog, Norm fucking unfriended me. Did he over like political shit? What I'm, political uh, shit? You know, he's he, he. I was talking about Antifa, and he was like, "Well, I'll not. I don't agree with you, but I defend to the death your right to you know that shit." The free then why do you unfriend you? I don't know. I love Norm. We just disagree about everything. But uh, uh political shit's it's, it's getting too real, man. I, I want to hang out with Norm. He's just he's a fucking libertarian psycho, you know. He's one of those people down in Texas. I don't know, man. I got into it with Stop the other day, and it's like the problem with libertarianism is that it's sort of like by default morally bankrupt, and like the 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 implication in saying I'm a libertarian is I don't give a shit about anybody that would need assistance, you know, from the government. Well, it's also just like a theoretical, like the the assumption, the assumption of the basis of libertarianism is that everyone starts at like a zero and that like government. Sure, yeah, and there's equal like equal distribution of resources and all this shit that doesn't really exist. And you know, yeah, because it's, people are start yeah, off rich the, and people the, start off poor. The problem with libertarianism is the the implied lack of like empathy or social support for people. But like, and also that you have power from like the moment you're do, born. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But like, Norm is also like one of the most charitable, nicest people. I love I Norm, man. I just so would... I don't like, it doesn't matter that he's a libertarian, you know, it's like, it's to the same degree that like, if somebody told me somebody was racist because they liked making like, you know, racist jokes or whatever here and there, but then they worked for a charity that helped, you know, young black kids lighten their skin to fit it better into society. I wouldn't call that. I wouldn't care that that guy's racist, you know, because yeah. the, the net effect of whatever they're doing. <laughs> God is, damn it. Dude. What? <laughs> it's your job to make it clear that that part is a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let me just continue going. People are like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're fucking lounging. My doing fault. your fucking bullshit vocal fry nonsense. What's wrong with my voice? Voice. Shut up, it sucks. You know what someone said to me last night? No. They expected me either. to be six foot three. Oh, did they? <laughs> because I always talk about how I'm the tallest cumboy. Yeah. Are you really? I am. That's only because Nick like, and Stop are manlets. I'm so much He's, taller than Adam's you guys. Adam's a inch taller than me and Stav. That's not true, dude. Yes, he is. You're five foot three. I'm not five foot I'm three. I'm six foot three. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> tech review corner. Uh, they got the blood glucose monitor at the Apple store now. <laughs> I was thinking about buying that and trying to return it. That's just with blood all over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, open myself up and bring it back. I'm like, yeah, this thing is just fu it's a fucking mess. I've never seen a glucose monitor this bad. Just bring it in a Ziploc baggie full of <laughs> blood. I always wonder, I do drop off laundry. So, oh, shit, I forgot I have to go pick up my laundry. I dropped it off days ago. How much does it cost? <laughs> it's like 10 bucks. Yeah, it's shit. like a dollar a pound? No, I mean, it. no, it's like 30 cents a pound. That's amazing. Yeah. It's awesome. They fold it for you and shit. Yeah, they fold it That's for you. So it's cheap. like, it doesn't make sense to do your own laundry because, like, 
the amount you spend on quarters and shit. It's and, more than ten bucks. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's not worth it to do it that way. So yeah, I just use drop off service. But you know, like most people, I jack off on all my clothes. <laughs> I and then, always think yeah, about that, man. And I bring yeah, it in, too. and it's like they have to know. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, he just glues his socks shut after he's <laughs> after he's done wearing them. His two dimensional paper they, mache socks. They <laughs> wash so many of his clothes. They probably are used to it because. So many people jack off on their socks. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Well, I was thinking, dude. like, at what point are you just bringing in like a paint mixing bucket filled with cum <laughs> with a single sock floating on the top of it? I thought about bringing in a shirt one time and I just threw it away. I don't know. I was just in the middle of throwing it into a hamper and then went, you know what? Maybe this is just trash because it was probably. Just like, oh man, you know what it was too. This is so fucked up. There's. A- <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even tell this fucking story, man. <laughs> There's this like. Um, this shitty old man in Texas that like is trying to like market his daughter as a comedian, you know, and like taking her. What's around. the daughter? Her name's like Saffron or something. Oh, Saffron. Yeah, and yeah. Like, the, her whole thing is like, I love Nirvana, and yeah. it's like, Kurt Cobain died like five years before you were born. Yeah, like, this doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's, it's her, her dad, dad is writing dad. the fucking yeah, material. Yeah. So like. I was really fucking tired, and I was in Austin one time doing a show, and his the guy came up to me, and he was like really trying to network like way too hard, so he gave, he made me fucking take this shirt that's like the Nirvana logo, and it says mm-hmm. Saffron on it or whatever. Yeah. Threw it in my back. I was like, whatever, dude. Went home. And you jacked off on a shirt of a 10-year-old girl. <laughs> I mean, it just became the go-to comrade. <laughs> and like, my God. It, just, it was in the corner of the room, you know? And like, it just happened to be like, well, I don't want want this shirt mm-hmm. so then i ordered a pizza one time now saffron's your cum stuff <laughs> and like you know it was dark and i had to throw on a t-shirt to go like yeah answer the door and i was just wearing this shirt with cum all over it <laughs> this pizza guy was like okay here's your it's so i had to throw it away that's it that's the whole what's story. the most gri- <laughs> grisly scene you ever encountered delivering pizzas nick Oh, uh, Jake's also a pizza guy. Well, either yeah. of you. You're both, yeah, you're currently, uh, fancy, you're a hipster pizza guy uh, now. Um, I don't know. I mean, there was a bipolar, or not a bipolar, an OCD guy I used to deliver pizza to when I worked at Papa John's. And he would, uh. Oh, I got a good one. Uh, dude, keep I, going with the OCD. Come on, yeah, we got, we got. Oh, all right. Well, so, yeah, I mean, this isn't even a very good story, but he would. You know, they have like all those dip cups at Papa John's. Like, it's not just the garlic cup. People don't realize there's like nine different cups you can get. Really? And this guy would order two of each in addition to the garlic cup. You'd get all the dip cups and they're like the same order. It's like a pretty big order. And he would always tip like 25%, which is like pretty good for pizza delivery, especially if it's Mm -hmm. a big order. So it'd be like a $9 tip. So it wasn't really a big deal, but you would go to his house. You'd hand him the bag, and he would mm-hmm. take the bag and lock the door and not give you the money. And he was like, waiter. And then he would go inside, and he would open up all the boxes and remove all of the dip cups, put them back in the bag, and then come to the door and hand you the bag of sauces that he paid extra for. Yeah. And then give you the tip. The and, fuck? Yeah. And you'd take the sauces back to the store? You would have to take them back to the store. Weird. Yeah. And the first time I delivered there, the guy was like, yeah, this guy's crazy, so yeah. he's going to do a weird thing with the sauces. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's jacking off somewhere in this equation, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had this guy, this uh, this old gay man, who, like, you know, elderly, white hair, lived in, like, publicly funded housing and ordered every day. And his, his, he had the fucking greatest, like, James Bond name ever. His name was Ray Maxwell. And, like, he, you know, you'd go to it's his, not James Bond's name. I know. <laughs> it's a cool name. James Bond's name is James yeah, Bond. Yeah, I, I get it. Uh, but he, no, I'm just saying it does make sense if <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> it just sounds yeah. cool as shit, Ray I, Maxwell. I'm going to have to decide with Nick on this one. <laughs> it sounds like a normal name. Yeah. So Ray you'd Maxwell. go yeah, to his say, apartment. Like James Bond. He's name. this like 80-year-old man. You'd open the door, and his, just the air, just this waft of just cigarettes and cum would come at you. And, <laughs> and you'd look over his shoulder, and his, like, you know how like teenagers like put like magazine shit up on their walls and yeah, shit yeah. gay porn all over his fucking walls just and, from magazines yeah just oh, like so gay funny. porn magazines like you know and this is like the internet exists and yeah. shit at this point this is like, like play gay and <laughs> gay hustler and, and yeah 
And gay gay Nickelodeon magazine. Oh. <laughs> gay highlights. All <laughs> oh, the classic gay porn highlights magazine. For fags. <laughs> yeah. a, you're gonna find yeah. the Goofus is a bottom, whereas Gallant is a top. <laughs> Goofus doesn't disclose his HIV status while Gallant lies about it. <laughs> gay Sports Illustrated. <laughs> yes. Sports Illustrated. Swim gay edition. <laughs> gay informer. Yeah. Huh? Swim gay. These are great puns, dude. <laughs> How about this? National Geographic? National Gay Geographic. <laughs> Hire me, weekend update. A new magazine is out. I'm sure you guys have heard of the New York Times. How about the New York Fag Times? <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Donald Trump's Weekend Update. It's a new show where we use tax dollars to take over every television station where I do my own very funny version of SNL. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Hurricane Harvey. You know who wouldn't have done anything about that? Obama. But I'm doing something about it. I'm marching right up to that storm, and I'm calling it a queer. Yeah. He's so fucking funny, man. Donald Trump? Yeah. I hope he's president forever. <laughs> I hope that he did. I love, I love just how fucking irrational he makes people that suck act and yeah. like think. I What's know. his name? Greg Abbott's in a people wheelchair? People are perfectly comfortable in their lives. Just are just physically <laughs> what is upset. It? I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, no, that does he's rule mad for at like sure. everyone else. Yeah, know? right. And then, and then they do the thing where it's like, and I'm especially concerned for my minority friends, yeah. all of my poor black friends that right. live in like, what, downtown Cleveland that you <laughs> hear, like, these fictional impoverished Section 8 black people that you know, that that's who you're worried about is the people that you didn't give a shit at all about before, really. Yeah, and you're also it, just assuming that they also like voted yeah. for Hillary and shit. Right, they know? all voted like, for Hillary, or that if like, that poor people who lived in abject poverty poverty didn't like just to like grow up in that circumstance and they kind of like don't see a solution anyways even when things are perfect the way you want with i don't know some old woman that's a liar in office yeah i've been reading about bill clinton lately man he was so fucking like crazy you know about the retarded guy he executed yeah in arkansas yeah, yeah just yeah. to like make republicans like him more. the guy ricky ray rector fucking he or that's a him, cool james bond that, name <laughs> that's a total james bond name you I was know what i mean that. it sounds cool yeah. so he like rector ricky rector <laughs> ray ricky rector <laughs> ray recky where are you going? Retarded. I hardly... I don't know. Uh, so he ordered a, like a pie for his last meal, and he saved half of it because he was like, I'm going to eat it later. Like He didn't even understand that they were like going to kill him. Yeah. That's very sad. Yeah, well, you know, that's who gets executed. You know, it's funny because, you know, Texas loves killing retarded. Hell yeah, it does. Oh, hell yeah. That's... Uh, the Houston assholes. That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the mascot of, of, of both the Rangers and the ass, uh, assholes is, is, a, a, death row is retard? a crispy retarded guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's strapped to an electric chair. And, and they're like, and here comes the, the retard running around the warning track. Trying to chase his final meal of a handful of Jolly Ranchers and <laughs> and a little table from the inside of a pizza box. Yeah, he's sucking Norm's dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that seems like a thing he would have done. He made a retarded kid blow him. Yeah. Um, Wait, Central. isn't isn't that guy the governor of Texas, uh, Greg Abbott? Isn't he in a wheelchair? Yeah, he's retarded actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I really hope retarded. that Trump didn't know he was in a wheelchair until he gets to Houston today. It's just like, <laughs> keep staring at him. Oh, is so. Trump going to go to Houston? beautiful, retarded yeah, yeah. man. There, there's a picture of him and Melania. I, was, I wearing, was kind of hoping Trump would just not address the hurricane at all. No, he's going today. That he would just be like, I don't care about this. Am I a hurricane? I didn't do it. <laughs> so I, I didn't cause this problem. No. Uh, yeah, he's going. And people are very mad that Melania is wearing stilettos. To the to the hurricane, they're yeah. like, "This is disrespectful." That, Why? That I don't elevates know. you from the flood water. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's too. Smart. I think it's smart. <laughs> I think too. both of them should be on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm those, those like Uncle Sam, fucking uh, huge. The pants go over yeah, the stilts. Yeah. Or those weird. Dude, if Trump just walked around <laughs> like that, that'd be so fucking funny. I want to learn how to use stilts. <laughs> he gave like speeches with a huge podium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, why do you? The second 
when you learn how to use stilts and then you use them for your daily commute, you automatically become the stilts guy. You know what I mean? Why is there such a stigma to like stilts people? You got to be like an Uncle Sam in a I don't know what July the parade. Talking about. I don't know either. Yeah, they're in, in the neighborhood. Uh, it's because you spent all that money on those damn stilts. I, I think stilts up, would there, be fun. There's, a, uh, this like, when does Greg a, Abbott use stilts? There was a family in my neighborhood, and the dad had these, like, he had, like, really fucked up eyesight, I guess. Yeah. So his glasses were, like, this ridiculous prescription. And I remember the daughter one time stole her dad's glasses, and we were putting them on and riding our bikes. <laughs> and when you you look down with the glasses on, it made it look like the ground was, like, 40 feet away. <laughs> so you would ride your bike, and you'd be like, holy shit. And it was the greatest feeling in the world. Like looking through yeah. binoculars backwards. Uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. know. What you mean. I yeah. just remember that that fucking this, up your own eyesight. Right. I I want I want a pair of glasses. Yeah. Like that. You know, Coke bottle. Glasses. I got to get new glasses. I got these from Zenny Optical. I guess this accounts as a tech review. Is glasses? <laughs> glasses are technology. Technically. Yeah. yeah. And Ben Franklin invented them. Mm-hmm. That's see, he gets credit for too much shit. I know we invented already, bifocals. We talk glasses. about that on the show too. He much. would be so fucking obnoxious if he were alive today, man. I don't think so, ben dude. Franklin. Yeah. I think he's like he banged like no, uh, he didn't, dude. That's a fucking shit. myth. Ben Franklin didn't fuck a lot. Yeah, he did, dude. No, he wrote he about didn't. fucking. He didn't, doesn't mean he. Yeah, fucked. he occasionally wrote some like dirty jokes, and people are like, "Oh, you fucked a lot." No, he got he died of syphilis. He wrote like an essay. Everyone on, like, had why syphilis you back then. Marry a fat what do you mean woman? everyone? Yeah, had yeah. Like, uh, an old, uh, an ugly woman. They're an ugly woman. Yeah, yeah. And an older woman. You should fuck older women too. Yeah, he uh, probably fucked. Here we go. Bit central. He fucked. Dude. <laughs> it's, this is a, this is a bit I was. Thinking he was probably about. like a like a sex like a cr- like a creep. You know, like a sex. Oh uh, yeah, he nerd. was a I, 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 I read that he liked to stick his head in women's pussies. <laughs> it's true, yeah. and that's how he went bald. I also read, read that. Uh, the journal if you yeah. go cue ball bald and you put your head in a pussy and you wear a woman like a hat right bitch i'm gonna wear your that's ass how he like discovered electricity bitch i'm gonna make i'm gonna turn your ass into a hat i'm i'm just gonna make you <laughs> well uh, we gotta that, talk about that's a funny a, visual there was a chinese guy at the show the other night last night last night there's a chinese guy there and he had a criterion collection tattoo on his arm and we noticed it, and we started laughing at him for having a Criterion Collection tattoo. He's a fan of the show. Yeah. And uh, so we're laughing at him for having a Criterion Collection tattoo. And he goes, uh, he's like, oh, my Chinese dad would just like, you know, he would take me to see these art house films all the time. But you look at him, and he doesn't look half Chinese. He looks like he's also Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, so he's full Chinese. It's right. It doesn't make sense to say my Chinese dad. And I was just imagining his Chinese dad. And we're like, yeah, me and my Chinese son are going to go. <laughs> they <laughs> we just always watch yeah, specify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and my Chinese wife. We're going with yeah, my yeah. Chinese son. <laughs> Chinese hello, son. Uh, yeah. Chinese hello to you, too. You know? Yeah, that... That was pretty funny. <laughs> that and was very funny. That was, he, that's funny that had a Criterion <laughs> tattoo. Yeah, yeah. He has the Criterion tattoo. C tattoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he yeah. met this guy, Ben, that we know that was at the show, who was wearing a uh, Janice Films t-shirt. Yeah. And, he and they were like, complete strangers. They were complete strangers. And they both had Damn, him. it's almost like you guys have a demographic of people well, that no, are no, obsessed he came with up, things. No, the, the, the Criterion tattoo came up to compliment Ben's t-shirt. And then yeah. Nick and I... Nick started making fun of the t-shirt and he's like, yeah, actually it's really lame t-shirt. Yeah, it's super lame. <laughs> and then I looked out at his arm. I was like, do you have a Criterion Collection <laughs> tattoo? <laughs> oh man, just like uh, corporate, like, I just have a SpaghettiOs tattoo. Yeah, pretty much. And this is, uh, we'll close out with this. Oh, we got some movie previews <laughs> after too. But uh, I was thinking, this is, I don't like doing stand up anymore, as you guys know. This is a bit I was thinking about. I kind of, you know, it's funny, I quit stand up right around when the Subway Jared thing happened because it was so good for joke writing, and there hasn't been anything that's happened since. And I was thinking about Subway Jared the other day, and it's like, do you think that the other pedophiles in prison are just sort of like delighted to meet him? Because to them, he's, he's a celebrity. He's still just the guy from the Subway commercial. Yeah, because it, because it cancels out. Right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So the, just like Ronald McDonald. Yeah. Jail <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it'd yeah. be like if you met, you know, Julia Childs. <laughs> it'd be like, wow. Yeah. I, 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 I met Emeril Lagasse the other day. He's in prison with me. <laughs> I I mean yeah, but the thing is like I don't understand why he was their mascot to begin with because like he's not 
him just as Jared was like so odd. It was like, why is this like nerdy, like weird, awkward man like selling Gilbert. sandwiches? Yeah, like uh-huh. he wears khaki pants and shit. Like he wasn't like an entertaining person in any way. Yeah, I loved the ads where he was walking down like Main you, you know Street, whatever. Super progressive. Oh, okay. yeah. Is uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what? Here's how sub. Here's how Subway comes tell, back. Yeah, I've been dwelling us. on yeah. this problem for years. Okay, in yeah, fact, no I problem. think this yeah. is the solution. Subway yet to replace the uh, the mascot. Yeah, for good reason because I know you know as soon as they have a new mascot, people are going to say like, "Remember the pedophile?" <laughs> 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 and so Subway's still just trying to fly under the radar. Yeah, no mascot. And what they should do is you have uh, uh, a woman as the mascot and they're holding up a pair of man's pants and they're like, I'm trans. I used to be a man and now I'm wearing a woman's dress. I've changed my gender by going to Subway every day and I wash down my tall glass of hormones with a $5 foot long, the sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Mm -hmm. And then people will be so pleased that Subway has... You know, embraced getting your dick cut off, you know, or whatever, <laughs> with the surgery and being progressive, that they'll f- completely forget about Subway, Jared. So that's my solution to the problem. <laughs> and if Subway is listening, which I know they are, uh, just please send it, make a check payable to Come Town, P.O. Box. Uh, <laughs> Klondike 55 118 <laughs> Peoria, Illinois <laughs> Hotel <laughs> Foxtrot Yeah Niner uh, Go ahead and, and send that out Alright, here come the movie reviews yeah. Movie previews Sorry, I haven't watched any movies We've got a couple of movies coming up Battle of the Sexes Don't know what that is Sounds gay uh, It <laughs> Stephen King's It That's already a movie Don't know why they're re-releasing that Brad Status. That's a comedy movie with Ben Stiller. Brad Status. Yeah. So the it has fuck? something to do with social media. Go ahead and skip that one, folks. Oh, That's I thought it was not like going to age well. H- oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. That, and then you know what? Skip it anyways. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kingsman: The Golden Circle. I love the first Kingsman movie. I will definitely get high and see the Golden Circle. The first Kingsman movie was pretty tight. I fucking loved it. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. It was yeah. great. With the umbrella, the, that was the a movie. Yeah, umbrella, yeah. dude. It was a great movie. Yeah, yeah. That was, the a, that was like guy. a perfect fun movie. Is the first one. Yeah. If they fuck this one up, you know, make the main kid black or something, it's <laughs> really gonna piss me off. Uh, Mother is also playing. Don't know what that is. Uh, school life. Uh, come on, you know, I mean, <laughs> we, too many movies movie. these days. Yeah, Mother. there was fifteen other movies on the list. I think Mother is the Aronofsky movie, actually. Yeah, it is. It's uh, scary. Um, Did you see the trailer for it? No, I don't watch trailers. It's dude. Uh, I just all look black. at a list of movie titles. <laughs> yeah, and what do you I mean you don't them. watch trailers? But what are we what are we doing? We're just going through the titles. Yeah, I just I make judgments based on the titles. Cool. You just made a list of all the. What's movies the famous expression? Out? You can't judge a book by its. Title, right? Yeah, you can't judge a movie by watching. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's book. You, you it's book. Look not at the movie. poster you and yell racist epithets. The at movie it. is a visual format. You can totally judge it by the title. Well, that's the mother uh, trailer had no. It was just a black screen, and it was just sounds from the movie. Oh, t- not a single white guy in there, huh? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. too much representation. Exactly. I'd say. Can we just get one white guy on a completely black screen? People were mad that there were like white men in Dunkirk. It's like a movie about like what? English. Like, Wait, who were ma- who's I just mad saw at some that? fucking idiot online that was like, hmm, not a single POC. And it's like it's about the English army in like yeah. World War. Well, whatever. I play Battlefield One a lot, and they they put in black soldiers as a black. Soldier the main the character cover. is a black soldier. Yeah, it's like I don't care. I mean, that's fine. People got mad about it, but what's funny about it is like. You know, you don't see your own character. Yeah. You just see the people you're killing. So you're <laughs> yeah. running around like killing black men in like German army. <laughs> 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 it's like, all right, I guess this is progressive. Sure, why not? Uh, it's justice, man. Yeah. Uh, movie previews. Uh, so let's talk about it. What makes all these movies gay? <laughs> is it three gays down or four? Uh, okay, Battle of the Sexes. Um, what's gay about that? Yeah, men lose, right? There's no way that there's no way you can say men are good in a movie these days. If, if yeah, are we gay shaming the clown for probably. being a clown? Pennywise, a Jewish clown. <laughs> yeah. so my, was he Jewish? Yeah, that's what he's Pennywise wise means. about pennies. He's wise about pennies. Yeah. Oh no, this cannot stand. Yeah, How do they get funny? His name is just he's stingy. That's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, that is weird. I've never seen it. 
I, I haven't like, either. People say it's scary. Isn't Misery the only good Stephen King movie? Uh, he's got a couple in there. The Green Mile, man. Fun. That's I haven't seen since I was a kid, though. But, like, Tim Curry as the clown was, like, legitimately kind of creepy. This new clown's no good. It used to always piss me off when people are like, oh, clowns are so scary. I always like to imagine... Clowns are weird as fuck. They're Tim, weird, but who's scared of a clown? I can imagine you, Tim Curry sitting around at home... Uh, eating a box of uh, Whitman samplers by himself and the sounds he would make. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's delicious. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yes. It, yeah. It would, that would sound weird as him just eating chocolates <laughs> and enjoying them. Yeah. Did he have... He had like a phlegmy kind of throat. Like kind of like a... Like the Alan Rickman, right? Yeah. Similar. That sounds about Did he? Right. Yeah, me and my Chinese son watch a lot of <laughs> watch a lot of art. We house. Watch a lot of gay clown we movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Chinese dad makes me watch gay clown movies with him. Yeah, uh, well, now we've sufficiently made fun of our only Chinese fan. Well, whatever. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> we'll get more, dude. You don't think I'm still in deep with Chinatown? I know. I'm still in got, all those mahjong you got some rackets connects down there. Yeah. You go down. I pass by some mahjong place and you look in. And I'm it's out just there squatting on the ground, smoking cigarettes. Chinese men with Spitting. aviator sunglasses, fishing vests, and like those <laughs> like you know U.S. Navy retired hats on, just yeah. making bets underneath a pots and pans store. Yeah, those guys are great. I wish I could be them. The just the level of like. Their interest in gambling is so fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, folks, that's the show for today. Uh, you know, I'll try to do a better job on the show map next time around. But <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. It's all, it was okay. Got some. We made fun of some Chinese. No, nah, you know what? I'm going to have to actually write jokes for the show, I think, for the next couple of weeks. I, I feel the opposite, but okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll. I'll, I'll I should be writing things anyways and doing things with my life instead of just talking to a microphone. I agree. So yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll make the show better. Okay. Uh, you know, sure. Whether w one way or the other. And you know what? To anybody out there who thinks that I got fat, it's not true. That's a rude rumor going around. <laughs> I'm Jake <laughs> Flores, by the way, if anyone didn't catch the hidden up. Oh, yeah. Stav's dead. So <laughs> um, I'm the fat guy now. Jake's here. He's uh, He's a Hispanic Gay man. He's so. a Hell yeah. Mexicana. He's a gay clown. Woke show. Uh, shout outs to He's Chinese des dads despacito. everywhere. Despacito. Goodbye.